today we're going to talk about how to create an Ubuntu uh, bootable USB stick using UNET Bootin. Now, UNET Bootin is a fairly simple and easy to use tool, so I, I don't expect many people should ever have any trouble with it, but there is a couple little quirky things that you should keep in mind uh, to save off any kind of uh, degree of aggravation that you think you might have trying to use this tool. So the first thing you need to do of course is download uh, a version of uh, UNET Bootin from your favorite download site. I'm assuming you've already done this and as a consequence are ready to run the tool and use it. Now if you followed our last video on downloading Ubuntu 13.04, you probably already have a copy of Ubuntu downloaded in the form of an ISO file, which is perfect for what we need for doing this. However, the beauty of uh, UNET Bootin, of course, is that you don't necessarily need to do this in advance. So let's go ahead and start our tool. Now, we're running UNET Bootin here on a Windows 7 machine. So when we go to run it, user account control asks if we want to run this utility because so we're gonna say yes because we want to run the tool now once it's run it starts up and we're welcome with this simple little interface the beauty of this interface is that like I said uh, the first thing I'll ask for is distribution and we can then go ahead and select distribution so all the main Linux distributions here are pretty well described and this will automatically allow you to go to select whichever distribution you want and like for instance we can say uh, Debian and then we can say which one we want to do in this case it says stable net install and we can pick stable net install for all kinds of different installs we might want or do here now <clears throat> this makes it simple because it goes ahead and downloads the files for you and then installs it onto the USB and makes the whole thing bootable. Um, but in our case, since we've already gone ahead and selected a disk image, we can go click on this uh, here and then we'll point it to the file that we want. It's already set to the ISO file type. There is also floppy if you have such an old thing that might be on a floppy disk. The important thing to note here is before you start UNET Bootin is to have your USB drive plugged in and ready to go. Um, in this case it has done so and has detected it. And the reason I find is that it doesn't seem to want to auto detect on the fly. Or maybe your auto detect uh, properties are disabled or in my case are disabled. But if you have it plugged in when you start net, this UNET Bootin tool it should automatically point to the appropriate USB. If you have more than one installed or plugged in, then it will probably give you a choice between more than one. But once we've got the right, we know we've got this, uh, the target drive selected as proper here for the USB, we can go ahead and select the USB file that we want to install. In this case, we're going to be putting Ubuntu 13.04 desktop uh, 64 bit version. Once this is ready to go, we simply click OK. And we give this a time that it takes to do what it needs to do. As you can see, it's telling us that the disk already exists, all these files. So press yes to all to overwrite it and not be prompted again, which is what we're going to do. Yes to overwrite files on an individual basis, but we'd be here a long time. And no, just, just let us know that, hey, we may have made a mistake. But we're going to go yes to all. So here we go. And as you see, this is a fairly quick process. Won't take very long at all.
Okay, after a considerable time, and you will have to be patient with it, it finishes off and will then give you the option of either rebooting your computer now and then booting from the USB or exiting the program. Keep in mind that with the USB key plugged in, if you select reboot now, your machine will reboot and go ahead and it will start to boot on the USB key once it comes up unless there's some selection issue problems with your BIOS. So something to keep in mind and then exiting just means we're going to exit and quit the program.